What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, we have to talk about the placeholder date for God of War Ragnarok. Now, I do want to talk about some of the past things that we have heard about this game, because this is not the first time we've seen a placeholder of some kind or have heard from behind the scenes. We've had actually both of those things happen in the past. But jumping right into it, we have a uh, digital, I believe it's like an actual, uh, just a store, okay? It's like a chain. And on their website, okay, and this is in Chile, this is in Mexico, and this is in Colombia, you can pre-order God of War Ragnarok. Now, again, some of that stuff isn't necessarily new, but it has the release date on the website, and it says June 2022. Now, it does not say a day. That was my first question. You know, I actually was sent this by Pedro, and thank you to him, as always, for all that he does. Uh, and I was like, well, the first question I have is, was there a date attached, or was it just June 2022? Because June, as we've talked about, right, the four quarters of the year, March, June, September, and December, whenever you have a game that shows up there, whether it's the last day of the month or just the month in and of itself, uh, that's pretty heavily a placeholder day, right? And the thing is, it... it like, I want God of War. I'm not saying, like, you know, I'm doing this because I don't want to see God of War Ragnarok soon. But the thing with June and, again, all these these quarterly things are they, they seem more like placeholder dates than actual, even the month, even the month. So it could come out in June. I'm not saying that it, that it wouldn't. But, you know, when you get, like, a June 30th kind of deal or a March 31st, that very much, I would say, indicates that they're just, it's just a placeholder. It's just talking about the quarter. But... When you have it just say June, there is no date, it's, it just says June, I would say it's kind of a coin toss. I mean, it could be June, it could be they're just putting it there, but it's probably going to shift to July, August, September. It's a coin toss. Now, the last, because I was thinking about it, right? And I saw it and I was like, okay, well, the last time we heard this, I feel like we've had a placeholder date before. And and yes, I actually made a video on it when it happened, uh, the PlayStation database uh, Twitter account, right? They're the ones who kind of talk about, uh, you know, sizes and patches and a lot of other stuff and they do a really good job they had said or they had found that the placeholder date internally in like Sony's system on, on the PlayStation store was September 30th 2022 so that again placeholder date last day of September and by, and again September is that the end of the third quarter so that's the last time we heard about it my personal prediction has always been the fall I know there's a lot of people that think it could very well happen like now you know in this uh, this little area we have we also have obviously the behind the scenes talk right Tom Henderson has mentioned this game before and really and I think people are making good points by the way I don't think any of this stuff is uh like invalid or like wrong to think about you know well I guess you look back to God of War 2018, right? That was in April. So we're, we're approaching that four-year mark. And we're approaching the springtime. In fact, I think a lot of God of War games, actually, uh, or maybe most, if not all of them, come out in the spring. Also, if the game was supposed to come out in 2021, you know, first half of this year makes a lot of sense. But also Tom Henderson had said, you know, he thinks it's about time that we see the game again with maybe a release date attached. And the question, I guess, that would, you know, be brought up with that is, well, if you were to show it, in March, which would make sense, right, for the uh, big PlayStation showcase that they would be doing, if you showed it, would you give a release date to a game that comes out in June, or would you give a release date to a game that comes out in the fall? Now, the answer is kind of ambiguous, right? It's it's kind of subjective, actually, right, because they could give it, because they have nothing in the fall, right? We've actually talked about that before with Sony. They have a lot of unannounced things, but really, we only know their plans up until May. We know Forspoken is May. Obviously, they've had a killer start of the year, Horizon. Sifu, Uncharted, again, Forspoken, Gran Turismo. I mean, they have a lot of games, but after Forspoken, they're kind of out. Now, obviously, they're not out in general. They have many, many more games behind the scenes, but when do those games come out? So, I, I, to be honest with you, though, I will say this. Like, I respect Tom Henderson a ton, and I've said that before in the past as well, but what I will say for God of War is I don't think it matters when it comes out. I think if they were to show a trailer and give a definitive release date, say at this March show, I don't think it matters when the game comes out. Does that make sense? I think they would say the release date anyway. So I, to me, that wouldn't like add on to it. I think they would say in March, hey, it's coming out in June, or hey, it's coming out in November, or hey, it's coming out in September. I think all of that stuff 
could, you know, I mean, like I think all that stuff could happen no matter what. So it may be best actually to just look at these placeholder dates. So now we have two. We have the PlayStation database one that was September 30th, 2022. And now we have this one that's just simply not June 30th, just June, June 2022. So, uh, you know, I, I again, I think June makes sense. I think obviously I don't really think you're going to do it in April or May. I think it's going to be several months out. Otherwise, we would have had the release date already. So I will say I don't want to say June or September just to match the uh, the placeholder dates. No, I'm going to stick with my original prediction. I still think the fall. I think uh, I think the fall is going to happen September, October, somewhere in that range. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure, as always, you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on. Obviously, I'll be covering this game a ton when uh, when we get closer to it. I guess I should say, right? If you guys want to follow me anywhere else. All my social media, including our Patreon and YouTube memberships, are in the description below if you guys want to check them out. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all on the next video.